in the front. Come on up, give him a big hand. Come with me over here. All right, you're much taller than I thought. <laughs> That's fine. Come, stay with me. That is perfectly fine. And how may I address you? Uh, Sin. Sin. All right, Sin. Well, coincidentally, my surname is Sin. Sin. Meet the audience. The audience. Sin. Sin. Don't stand. Don't stand too far away. I won't pick you up. I promise. Even though I'm small in size, come. You stand right there. Stand here with me. What's going to happen now is that I want to share with you about emotions. We all have emotions, right? And in fact, these emotions make the very core, form the very core of who we are. And there's nothing other than a Rubik's cube to depict that. Let me explain to you, see. The Rubik's cube is a fantastic masterpiece. Each side of it can represent an emotion in our lives. Red can be anger, yellow can be happiness, green can be envy, and so on. Can you imagine if the Rubik's Cube is completely mixed up, just like our emotions being completely mixed up, that would totally create a state of chaos in our lives, yes? And every time that we turn the Rubik's Cube, there's one of the 43 different patterns that can be done. Look. I'm going to take the time to share with you one thing. This one thing is going to change your life radically and it's going to change all our lives radically. Completely mix up, one-handed, very steadily, into the bag, right around there. Put it right at the bottom. Good. Look, see, with that one thing that I'm going to share with all of you, your emotions can become fully soft, in perfect harmony. Do you believe that? Yes and no. I told you. Imagination can become reality. Look. Fully solved. Thank you. What are you thinking, Tim? You're going to feel in the back. No worries. I will check it for you. Look. I'll prove that it's empty. It's clearly empty. <laughs> Completely empty, look. <laughs> All right. You want to check it? You know what? Oops, that's fine. You can go ahead and check it. Go on, check it. <laughs> hey, open. I will pick this little Rubik's Cube up, and it doesn't matter. Is it clearly empty? <laughs> yes? Give him a big hand for taking the initiative to check. Now, we all know this is a real cube because it breaks apart, yes? Now, coming to that one thing that I want to share with all of you, that one thing is none other than love. Look, love is very special because you know why? Every time we take a step towards love, love can change us from inside out. Even if your emotions are fully mixed up as such, what we're going to do is that we're going to try an experiment whereby we Take a step towards love. Look, fully mixed up. As I just rotate the cube as such, it's as though you take a baby step towards love. It gets a bit better when you take a bigger step until it eventually it looks as though the cube, your emotions, become fully solved. And I understand that in our lives, there are times whereby we can feel really uptight. And when that happens, things don't go very well for us. But no matter, there's one thing that we say, it is to let go and let life carry on. So with that, watch. If you were to be able to let go in those situations, this is what love can do to help your emotions. Just take it and throw it. I'll take that bag away from you. You can take the cue. And your job now is to mix it up as much as you can. As much as you want to.
No worries, you can be here. I'm sure you can do that. As much as you want to, that's fine. Whenever you are happy, whenever you are happy, this is going to represent your emotions, all right? It's going to represent your emotions. And in fact, I already know you know what love is because you're a married man. I will take it. Seems cute, seems emotions. The solution is already in him. Watch. Sim, do you believe in love? You do? Watch. Fully stop. Of course, that would be incredible, right? Unless there is a second cue. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. See, hold your hands and you're going to cup this in between your hands as such. Okay? Making sure that no one else comes near to it. What we're going to do is that we are going to find an alternative solution to the Rubik's Cube. Love is about standing in the perspective of somebody else. And that allows us to feel and to know what it is like. Look, I'm going to try this. It's never been done before, but I think the solution is right around there. See, come with me. Come over here. I think we have solved it. This is what I mean. Open your hands. I'm going to take this. If we have managed to stand in each other's perspective, your emotions and my emotions should match because that is what empathy is all about. That means we should have one side matching fully on all areas. Give Sim a big hand. Better than one side, better than one side is to have side number two, side number three, side number four, five and six. Fantastic. Give Sim a hundred round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everyone.